Hey, my friend. Over these next 10 minutes, you're going to be witnessing me doing one of my 5M soulful self-care stretching flows. It's all about movement. This was really 30 minutes of a 5M flow. And you're watching it in three times the speed. So the reason being is because I want to talk to you for a few minutes about this intimate relationship that I have with stretching. One that I feel that you should as well. The backdrop that you're hearing now, my good friends at Harmony Works, this is a sound bath. If you get a chance to check it out, they have it every Tuesday and Wednesday here in Baltimore at St. Luke's Church on the Avenue from 6 to 7.30. I'm stretching, and I stretch during this sound bath because it's one of the things that's most healing for me. It's very intimate for me. It's something incredibly intimate, amazingly intimate about the act of stretching daily, the activity. It's not just a physical routine it's like having a conversation with your own body, a quiet one that we don't have in the midst of the hustle and bustle of our lives. So as I take these few moments to share this with you, I just want to I want to invite you into embracing this intimacy of this kind of self-care. When you stretch, it's like you're peeling away the layers that you accumulate through the day. The stresses, the to-dos, the ups, the downs, the weight of your responsibilities, all the shh, you know what. <laughs> but doing this daily gives you a practice. It gives you a ritual for you to take those layers off, for you to unravel. It's a commitment to yourself to getting out those knots and those kinks that you feel in your muscles and joints, but also the knots and kinks that you feel in your mind because life be life in. So as you're watching me stretch right now, even in this moment, I'm having this quiet acknowledgement with my body really telling myself through physical activity and intention that my body deserves this kind of tender love and care. I want to suggest that you try this, even try some of these moves and these poses, these positions that I'm doing. When you do this, you're promising to honor yourself, the very vehicle and vessel that carries you daily through your life journey. You're not just working on your physical flexibility and your strength and your mobility. Yes, all of that is what you get out of this. But you're creating and sustaining a connection between your mind and your body. It's like a dance. This world constantly demands our attention, but stretching though can become your sanctuary. It can become your quiet place, your quiet space, your pause. A deliberate way of just slowing down midst of the chaotic rhythm of life. A chance to come home to yourself, to 
to literally feel your own heartbeat. Give that a try. Breathe as you move. Breathe as you chill. Pause for a second. Now, see if you can feel your heartbeat. All you gotta do is pause, try it. It's the thing that's keeping you alive. Stretching is an act of vulnerability, personal accountability. You're actually acknowledging your limitations and you're embracing yourself. Just giving yourself a little bit more of a push each time, expanding your mind. And I gotta tell you something, it is not about striving for perfection. It's about embracing yourself in the process and your progression. It's about celebrating yourself on each success and the journey of growth. Each time you stretch, is you quietly telling yourself that you're working with yourself as you are a work in progress. And that is okay. As you see me stretching here, I'm telling myself in the moment, my body is not a machine. It's a living, breathing thing. And it needs to be treated with that kind of love and respect. So I want you to think about stretching daily, just giving it a try. It's a commitment to your longevity, the long life that you're looking to live. Yeah, it's a promise to yourself. The thing is, your body is, the, is what you're using as a vehicle to go to your dreams. The least amount you can do for it is give it the fuel that it needs. Yes, in these moments, you will discover deeper truths about yourself and you will hear more clearly with clarity. This is an act of self-love, self-nourishment, self-satisfaction, self-awareness. And again, you're acknowledging yourself, telling yourself that you are worthy of this kind of QT. And all I'm saying is for a few minutes a day. Five minutes. So this started for me in 2019 when I experienced what was the most stressful time of my life. I had symptoms of prostatitis, which is inflammation of the prostate, chills, frequent urination, even breaking out in hives. Just because of the things that all of us go through normally in our lives. Things changing with my family, stresses inside and outside the house, financial. Y'all know how it goes. Life be lifing. However, 10 minutes a day of stretching and working with my breath alleviated all the symptoms. And I've been doing it since. And that's how 5M was born. So all I'm telling you is to try to make this a daily habit, moving your body in this way or any other way. Let me be your stretching partner so we can reach for the sky and reach into our souls at the same time.